Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Riceball Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be going through the step-by-step -step process on how to download the PlayStation 2 emulator. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is click Start, click on your documents, and create a new folder by right-clicking New Folder. You can name this folder whatever you want. I'm going to name it PS2 just for illustration purposes. Once you've done that, minimize this and let's go ahead and go to your web browser. Alright, go to the first link which I'll add in the video description. This link will take you to a website where, where you'll be able to download the set of file for your PlayStation 2 emulator. Go ahead and click here to start download. Click save and save this to your PlayStation 2 folder. Once that's saved on your computer, go ahead and close these ads and go to the second link which I'll add in the video description. This link will take you to a website where you will be able to download required documents to run your PlayStation 2 emulator. Click save save it to your PlayStation 2 folder and click save. Once that's saved on your computer go ahead and minimize your web browser and go to your PlayStation 2 folder. Go ahead and extract the extras folder. If you don't have the option to extract or you don't know how to extract please follow me in my next video and I'll go through the steps on how to do so. Now click on the PCSX2 setup application, click run, and click next and next next until you get to a page that looks like this. Click close, go to start, computer, local disk, program files, scroll down until you see the PCSX2 folder. Copy, go to your PlayStation 2 folder, right click, paste. Once that's pasted on your computer, go ahead and open it and click on the PCSX 0.9.6 application. It'll say it needs to be configured, press OK. Once you're here, go under graphics configure and depending on your own computer choose the best settings for my computer I'll choose direct 3d 10 hardware and press OK first controller configure pad 1 click on each button to configure the controls to your emulator so your emulator will know what button you are pressing I would highly suggest using a gamepad for this process since using it on a keyboard would seem rather difficult. After you've done that for every single button, press apply and click OK. Alright, now what you're going to do is click on set BIOS directory, go to your documents, go to your PlayStation 2 folder, extras, click on BIOS, click OK. Now under BIOS you're going to click here and choose the latest date. Since I live in the United States and 2004 is the latest date, I'll choose that one and press OK. The next thing you do is click Config, go to Speed Hacks, on the left panel choose the third option and the right panel choose the first and second option and then go ahead and choose the miscellaneous escape hack. Press OK. Alright, your PlayStation 2 has been configured. So let's go ahead and download some video games. Let's go back to our PlayStation 2 folder. Right click, new, folder, and name this games. All right, go to our web browser, and go to the third link, which I'll add in the video description. This link will take you to a website where you'll be able to download PlayStation 2 games. Scroll down to 
until you see where it says PlayStation 2 game downloads. Click on that. Scroll down and choose one of the many links until you find the game that you want. The guys game store is a very good link, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Once this page is loaded, scroll down and find the game that you'll be interested in downloading. Since I think Ratchet and Clank owns, I'm going to go ahead and copy this down here. Cop, right click, copy, go to your web browser, click, backspace, right click, paste, press enter. From here you'll see where it'll require you to enter a security code. Go ahead and enter that in and click enter. Alright, almost done. What we're going to do now is scroll down and you'll see four V's. If this pop-up comes up, just click one of the right two buttons and it will go away. Alright, so now what we're going to do is click on the first V. and It'll take us to Mega Upload. Go ahead and click on the security code and type it in. Press download file. Once the timer has ran out, click on regular download, click save, go to your PlayStation 2 folder, and save this under the games folder. Click save. Once you have done so, it'll start downloading. This download will be approximately one gigabyte, and it may take a while depending on your internet speed. Alright, now that you've got that downloaded on your computer, go ahead and close this. And go to the second V in the left panel. Same thing. You're going to go ahead and repeat this process until all four Vs have successfully been downloaded on your computer and your games folder. Once you have downloaded all four parts, it'll look something like this. All four ports will be needed to be downloaded before you'll be able to extract it. Once all four are downloaded, go ahead and right click the first part and click on extract here. Once you've done that, a file will appear and it'll look something that looks like this. It'll, under the type, it'll say disk image file. That's what you want. So now what we're going to do is go back to our PlayStation 2 emulator. Click on config, click on configure, under CD, DVD, ROM, click on ISO CD, DVD, click on configure, click on select ISO, find the image file that we saved in our game folder, double click it, press OK, and press OK. You'll need to do that every time you want to switch the game. Alright, now that we've done that, click on file. Click on Run CD DVD, and if everything runs properly, your emulator should be set up correctly. Alright guys, since I have a really horrible computer, I'm going to go ahead and close that down. In order to close it, click on the X, and click on this right here, and click on the X, or just Alt F4. Alright, that's it guys. Once you've done that, you've successfully downloaded and installed a PlayStation 2 emulator on your computer. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email me via YouTube, and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as